are on the island Isla and today we are renting e-bikes and go for some whiskey tasting to at least Ardbeg and uh, then we'll see if we'll stop and some of else but first we need to go and uh, collect our e-bikes uh, are you looking forward for e-bikes I think it's gonna be fun it's the first time for me We are ready for little, our little excursion here now and a little whiskey expedition and we are going to see a little cross. Where, when is this from? Uh, I don't remember but it's the oldest one in the islands. The oldest one, it's like a Viking era thingy or? Or Saxon. Saxon. I, more, uh, I like more Vikings. Yeah, me too. Are you doing turbo? Yes, I am. I'm only on sport now. I am turbo. I'm This is uh, La Gavolen. There are three whiskey distilleries lined up one after another, La Froy, La Gavolen and Ardbeg. We pass them all on our way to see the Kildorchen Cross. Jeanette is in there and checking what uh, Lagavulin have to offer after we have been to Ardbeg. What? Do they have two o'clock? They have a, 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 a two o'clock they have. Uh -huh. um, uh, I don't know if you make it. A wee bit of a tour until... Uh, and then a tasting uh, until... So it's a two hour tasting between two and four. Do we need to book it? Or can we see if we make it? You're, you're going the wrong way. Huh? You're going the wrong way. Turbo is good when it is headwind, but it's not good when it's no. downwind. Cruising around along in our e-bikes and I'm surprised how good they are I would say it feels like a little bit of cheating but uh, no I like this because I'm not sure that we would have made it in uh, this uh, headwind but I'm sure oh, we have made it but we would have been soaking of sweat probably I guess that is the cross. We are here. Ah, huh? we are here. I know it's. It's something special for me, at least when something is so old. Yeah, we have to read up on this one. And tell you folks what it is all about. So here is the cross. The Kildalton cross may be the finest earliest Christian cross in Scotland dating back from 8th century. And it's carved from a single block of an extremely hard stone which has resisted the best effort of the Highland weather for over 1200 years. The cross has a central boss with a ring around the cross head in a style that's often called a Celtic cross. 1300 years ago, so seven, eight hundred, something yeah. like that. <laughs> and that's very early. I mean, Sweden were Christian, they say, first they said a year thousand, but now they think maybe it is a bit early, like 900. It is similar in style and age to crosses found on the Scottish island of Iona, so it may 
well have been made there. But there is no roof on the church, but there is walls, so they will protect us for, from the wind if we would have our little fika moment in there. It would be good to have some whiskey tasting and be warm. Yeah. <laughs> some smoky whiskey. Peaty whiskey, I say. And this odd bag also a smoky one. Peaty, yeah. I think, yeah. And they got different sorts of peatiness, I think. Peatiness. Oh, peatiness. Peats. We will. See. We will learn all about it. Yeah, but you know a lot yes, already. Yes, I do. It's a memory, memory loss only. What do you call it in, in Swedish? Is Alzheimer's. <laughs> no. Light. Alzheimer's no, light. No, no. They call it uh, Teflon. Yeah. Teflon, Teflon. right. Teflon. Nothing, nothing sticks. <laughs> Ready for some whiskey! Ardberg. 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 Now it's downwind, so it's much better. Easy going. The last of the three distilleries on the road to Kildalton Cross is Ardberg, where we booked a tour and a tasting. Cyclists, we are going here. Visitor center. This is an old whiskey distillery that then didn't work for many, many years. And then Ardbeg started it again. Ardbeg uh -huh. was founded in 1815 and they are not alone to be registered as a distillery that year. More on that later. Now Ardbeg is owned by Louis Vuitton Mouet Hennessy. We are on the tour. Ardbeg produce peated single malt whiskey and they use bourbon and sherry cask to mature the whiskey. Some say Ardbeg is the peatiest and some say Lafroy. As some background info, Jeanette is a sommelier and has worked in the wine and spirit industry for 20 years and at one point represented Lafroy and of course visit the distillery in that capacity. We are either going to begin here by turning this hand off. Okay, so it takes a man to turn the hand off. We start the clock, we make an alcohol test and we might move across. We're collecting spirit, that's going to go in the cask, you're going to get to drink it one day. Hello. Hello. So what did you think he's, about he's, um, the tap? Yeah. Uh, we are passing the water bit. Yes, it does. I mean, so how many drops? Our, it's three drops. Depending on the, the amount of whiskey you have in your glass. Of course, but this what did you think about this one compared with the first one? The first one was the five year. Yeah, the five year was an easy drinking whiskey. I think it would appeal to a lot of people. Uh, the ten, mm, it's a lot of vanilla, strong, uh, strong peat. So. Strong peat. Yeah. But still a uh, nice smooth vanilla aftertaste. Mm. If I was going to smell a whiskey without drinking it, this is yeah, probably it's one bourbon. I would pick to smell. Mm. It's just, I get a little bit of citrus. Or what are you on now? Now we are on the strong thing. Strong thing. The Cory Racket. How many? It's almost. Uh, what was it? 57. 57. He called it uh, cask strength. Almost. Cask strength. No, that was the one before. No, he but this is this is real. This, no, no, no. He called this almost cask strength because it's very not diluted with water. So they sell it. But it's really strong. And you see the oil on the glass, and it just releases up the glass. Yeah, all of it is in the oil. So, but you, yeah, but you seem to be like a little expert because you are from here. But, 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 no, no, no. but you have drinking a few whiskeys, yeah. obviously. Yeah. 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 Experience. We're not experts, man. Experience. Yeah. But what? What? what the trouble is, we can't remember the next thing. But do you 
remember what you had before no, that no, one. No, 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 no idea. No idea what that means. No, I can't. Yeah. You have to work hard. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> okay. But what? So you don't have a fa do you have a favorite now? I, I, well, I used to think the Western Islands, the peat, the, the smoke, I used to like that, and then then I discovered other whiskies and I love them all. So now you're lost. So the answer is no. no, no. Somebody asked me once, what's your favorite whiskey? And I said, I haven't tried them all yet. I'm still looking. So listen, it's not a favorite one. But I found the correct in here when you when you um, added water, it brought out a lot more of the vanilla flavor. Yes. So mm. more than the bourbon, American bourbon cast. Very vanilla. No, very I'd very say. strong. Are you, are, are, you, are you going for the Corey Reckon bottle? Corey Reckon, we're going to try it. That's what I'm doing. I know why, because that's because of the name, but I like it too. Well, so. it's a great. It's a great. It was good because yeah. we went because she wants to she wants to do the Corey Reckon. Oh, yeah. Now we are here on the boat, so we could do it if we want to. We have our own boat here, so we could. Be careful. Yeah, we need to time the time. Have you seen it? Yeah, I have looked on it on YouTube, and it's something else. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 I, but I think you can go through if you time you go through slack water, like when it's. <laughs> so you should never go through Corey Reckon, is that correct? I don't know. I have not know. I've seen it. I've seen it. I don't have experience you do as a sailor. But, but if you would go like on, on the high side where the water is not going anywhere, then you're probably all right. But that would be, you need to time it right. Because you can't go when the tide stops to go. I beg you to It's a 55 foot. So, yeah. yeah, no, no, it's a good size. It's good. I think we need to summarize our visit here at Ardberg. If you could come here, my lovely little wife, we will summarize the uh, distillery tour of Ardberg. And uh, yeah, you probably can hear or understand that they do strong whiskey here. Yes, they do. And uh, so, what can you say about it? Uh, peaty, smoky, uh, and uh, Cory Brecken. Yeah, it's, but it's not the peatiest whiskey. They say there's uh, Lafroy is more peaty. They Probably, say. Yeah. But uh, and we have tried uh, quite a few of Lafroy. And but we bought a bottle of the Cory Brecken, and that was the strongest one they had. Mm -hmm. But uh, they call it almost cask strength. So it's about four fifty four point seven. No, fifty seven. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. The one the one before was fifty four. I think mm -hmm. this was fifty seven point something. But and it was nice. Too. Yeah, but you need to put water in it, and then the flavors comes out. To yes. to drink it without water, it was too strong. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I, it was good. Yeah. And, We're happy. Uh, and I'm not liking whiskey very much, but I can learn. <laughs> Now <laughs> let's go for Lagavulin. <laughs> there is this fences now. We're going back after the tasting. To uh, so we are not out there with the cars and everything. So we are stay here. Oops, sorry. I don't know. The explanation we got to why distilleries were established in 1815 is that after the Napoleonic Wars ended in 1815, greater efforts were made to stamp out the elite trade and some of Isla's more respectable tenants were encouraged to take out license to distill. Are you sure you want to stop? Yeah, okay. Let's stop here and do a little bit of a taste. We are in the Lagavulin now and we are <coughs> doing testing. the classical flight which is the 18 year old distillers edition and the 16 year old. So yeah. We try them all three of them without water and now we added a little bit of water into them. And I must say that the 18 year old, the 8 year old is rough. The 16 year old is a bit um, not too much taste and distillery edition. I know it's not, you know, getting the gimmick or whatever, but 
It was actually much better with the um, uh, water in it. Do you, do you my lips are getting numb now from all the other. Do you think they can, our viewers, do you think they can tell that we have been drinking whiskey? No. Really? No. So I will try a little bit here. This is the distillery edition. Mm. Yeah, distillery edition is the best at Lagerbord. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> we had, we had you got the technician to help you to yeah. stop the camera. Yeah, we had. We didn't ask fa anybody else. We asked problem. just me. And I so, what did you say about the, the Lager? The lag Lagerbullion tasting. Are we at Lagerbullion? <laughs> yes, we are at Lagerbullion. <laughs> Sorry there. No, I um, we had uh, the classical flight of eight-year-old, sixteen-year-old, and the distiller's edition, and uh, we try them all three without uh, water, and then we try them with water. Yes, <laughs> we do speak a bit funny. <laughs> and the distiller edition is the best here, but we must mention that we have drink. How many flights do we did we have at Adberg? Uh, we yeah. only had five. Only five. <laughs> yeah. You had five full, and I had five thirds. <laughs> five small ones. <laughs> but I think I'm the drunkest anyway. Mm. Yeah, mm. but uh, we will finish this, and um, I think we will... Uh, Fall asleep early tonight. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Who's cooking? Nobody. <laughs> Let's go out for dinner. Yeah, maybe we will go out for dinner. Nobody's cooking tonight.